Okay, so so what about uh, value? And uh, before we get into the specifics of myeloma, let's just talk about the value of cancer drugs. Murphy and colleagues have shown that for every 1% drop in cancer mortality, that would derive a, a net economic benefit for, clear, uh, for current and future generations of $500 billion. And if someone had a magic wand, and, and, and we know this is not possible, of course, because these are all different diseases, but if someone had a magic wand, they could eradicate cancer altogether, uh, the benefit of, uh, the economic benefit of that would be $50 trillion. Yes, you heard it right, $50 trillion. So there is tremendous economic benefit from uh, relieving uh, humans of the burden of cancer, and these numbers are exclusively for the United States. In fact, a recent report for the American Cancer Society showed that between 2010 and 2015, there was a 1.5% drop in mortality for all cancers. So that is a net economic benefit of about $750 billion, three quarters of a trillion. So there is a lot of value that comes back uh, from the care of, of cancer patients. Now, uh, during the average year, and I have some reference data from 2012, we're spending about $110 billion in total cancer care. So as you can see, the offset is, is, is quite positive. In other words, we are in the black. Now, uh, the same group uh, of Dr. Lakdawala has studied um, a new way of trying to measure this value. And actually, they, they published a paper where they used two case studies, uh, one of them being colorectal cancer and the other one being multiple myeloma. And this is a, a study that is worthwhile to read in detail. And they proposed a new metric that it's called the quality adjusted cost of care. And what it is, is, is a metric that incorporates not only the cost of care per se, or the cost of incremental life gained, as it's normally done with uh, quality in the ICER, and we, we will talk more about that later, but also the economic benefit associated with that. Now they based their, their study uh, between the years 2004 and 2009, and that is uh, right around the time when we have the introduction of lenalidomide and bortezomib. And what you can see is from 2004, so be before those two drugs, patients, as you know, were treated with melphalan, dexamethasone, the yearly cost of treating myeloma was approximately $36,000, that is medications only. By 2009, this has gone up to $109,000 uh, per year. But this is offset by an economic benefit of uh, close to uh, $70,000. So, it is not clear that there's actually any, any incremental cost with these medicines. Now, these medicines have been part of the cornerstone of the modern treatment for myeloma. They have allowed us to uh, care better for our patients, but we have medications that even augment further uh, the ability of these drugs, and we have total new classes of drugs such as daratumumab. So it is important to consider that one should not focus alone on the cost of medications. So you have to look at value, and value has two components. It has a component of how much you're paying the cost, but then also what are, what are the economic benefits of those drugs?